Good afternoon, welcome to North Carroll Library. My name is Miss Amy, and today we're gonna to do another spring craft. And this one is painted rock beaded photo holders. So if you take a look over here, I have some samples, and that's what they will look like when they're done. And then if you take a look over here, I'll show you what you need for this craft. We're gonna start with some flat rocks that have been washed and are dry. We're going to need some different colors of paint and white paint specifically. You'll need some paint brushes and some water. We'll need some 20 gauge wire and you can get that in any color you'd like. They have copper, this is pretty silver. Uh, you'll need a pair of needle nose pliers, some scissors, and we may need some tape and then you might want to pick out some of your favorite photos and some pretty beads. So let's go ahead and get started. Make sure that the rock that you pick out is nice and flat because you want this to be um, decoration for your desk. So you want it to sit nice and level. And the first thing that you want to do is paint your rock with the white paint. And I've actually already started to do that. That just makes the colors that you use on your rock really stand out because your rock is gray. If you just started painting that with regular colors, it wouldn't give this bright appearance that you see on some of the rocks I've already painted. So make sure you do the rock all around with the white paint. And then you're gonna set that off to the side and let it dry after you've painted the whole thing. So that's your first step. So we're gonna pretend that this one is painted white. After you've done that, then you can take your other colors and paint that and decorate it any way you'd like and any color you'd like. Um, make it nice and bright for, for summer because it's gonna be on your desk or you might give it as a present. After you've painted that, then comes the fun part. We're going to take our wire, and the length that you choose is completely up to you. You don't wanna make it too long because the weight of your photo will make it bend over. So I'd say maybe about four inches. Wrap that around your rock before you cut it off. Okay, because you want to make sure it fits all the way around your rock and give it a twist. And then there's about your four inches from there, okay, as a measurement before you get started with your beads. So after you've pre-measured in that way, I hope that makes sense, then you can take your scissors and cut that off. Then you can take your beads and start stringing them on. And you can really use as many beads as you'd like in whatever colors you'd like. You can take a look at my sample over here. Um, some of them I used as many as 10 beads. But you wanna leave enough room up at the top to take your needle nose pliers and bend the loop for the photo. And this takes a little practice. So you're gonna make a circle, and then you're gonna make a second circle. So you'll have two, two loops at the top of your wire. And that's what holds your photo. And you might wanna practice that with your wire before you even get started with your rock, because it takes a little practice using needle nose pliers, but that's what's gonna hold your photo in there. I don't know if you can get close up to see how I'm bending the wire using those needle nose pliers. I'm gonna try to make it so that sharp point isn't sticking out. So I have my beads on there and I have my, 
my coil there at the top that's going to hold my photo and I just want to make sure I put that back around my rock after it's dried from all the painting. And you want to take your needle nose pliers again. And this is the hard part. You want to twist it as hard as you can. You can either try with your fingers or the needle nose pliers, but you want to make it as tight as you can against the rock. So that it stands up on its own. There you go. So let's imagine our painted rock, which is dried. Now we have our wire with our beads and our coil at the top, so now we need our, our photo. If you start out with a huge photo, it might be too much weight at the top, so you might want to take your photo and do a little cropping. I just want this cute little face here for my photo. So the smaller they are, I think, the better it will be once you stick it in your coil. And if it doesn't want to stay, then you need to take your needle nose pliers. See, mine doesn't want to stay. And you can readjust that circle at the top and make it bigger and tighter so that your photo sits in there. And that might take some adjustment till you find the right spot where that actually works. Let's see if that works this time. There we go. Thank you for joining us for that craft today. I hope you enjoyed it and please join us again soon.